What's up everybody, Pete from Do You Even Blog here. And in today's video, we're gonna walk through creating a custom email address for your custom domain, you at yourdomain.com, and also setting it up in Gmail. We're gonna let you send and receive that custom domain email in your personal Gmail inbox. It's gonna be awesome, let's go. You will notice that I have email and Bluehost pulled up. I'm gonna be setting up a new email with my wife and I's new blog and podcast that we're gonna be starting, a parenting blog and website. So I'm gonna log in to, we're hosting on Bluehost. I'm gonna log in to our account right here. We're gonna be creating everything in cPanel for one thing. It's important to note that your host is gonna look different, first of all. If you're on Namecheap or GoDaddy or SiteGround or uh, <laughs> anything, really, WP Engine, but depending on your host, this process I actually might look a little bit different, but you can always use Google. Go to Google and type in SiteGround, creating an email address. It's gonna, like the number one result, I guarantee you uh, it's gonna have tutorial, okay, number two result. Oh no, actually it was the number one result, whatever. Creating an email account in cPanel. Google your host, creating an email address, you're gonna find something on how to do it. So navigate here to my, there we go, manage, navigate. I have no idea where to get do things here. Redirects advanced, where's my cPanel? Can you give me one second? Oh, here we go, there we go. Uh, email, email accounts. I'm gonna create one right here in Bluehost. I'm going to hit create, let's do me. So I'm gonna do Pete at theparentline.com. I'm gonna enter in a password. Uh, do you even blog is the greatest. Um, storage space, I usually just do unlimited, but I really don't care. Like I'm just gonna kinda use it as that. Create, cool. So actually what that has done is created my email address. I can now check my email. I can receive email to this right now. It's not in Gmail yet, but that was actually pretty easy. Here's the thing though. When you check email, like through cPanel, I'm, gonna, I'm about to click check email right here. This is the same for all hosts, not just Bluehost either. You're gonna get these like little options right here. These are like web programs, sort of like Outlook and stuff like that, that are bad. They are terrible. You do not wanna use these. It's so much more effective to just check them in a Gmail. Even if you create a new Gmail, not using your personal one, I would still do that. It's super annoying. These web apps are just garbage. They're really bad, really bad, but you don't have to use them, so that's good. However, look at the rest of this page right here. This is all gibberish for me. Like, I don't know what IMAP is. I don't know what like TLS, SSL. Uh, I don't really care about any of this, except this is valuable and I'm gonna need this information in just a minute. Whenever I connect my email to Gmail, I'm gonna need this information. Now, let's say you, did this already and you don't have this web page pulled up. What do you do? Again, go to Google. I'm gonna to go to SiteGround and do connecting email to Gmail. What you're looking for here is like pop three. I'm gonna type in pop three. Okay, maybe this is it. In general, you can go to Google and, oh yeah, this is it. It was it, it was the very first result. I'm an idiot. So it gives you that data right here. If I go, if I were to search for Bluehost, it would give me this exact data right here. Mainly like some of these details right here. So that said, let's hook it up in Gmail right now. What you will do is you will go in your settings. This is my personal Gmail right here, settings. And then you'll go to like pop three uh, or accounts and import, accounts and import. So what I'm gonna do is add another email address. See that right here? Send mail as. Um, and you can also do check mail from other accounts. You kind of do, let's do that one first, right here. Add a mail account. I'm gonna click that button. This pop-up box is important. Uh, what you're gonna do here is you're gonna fill this out using that data that we just had, that we got from Bluehost, right here. So there's my email and username. Usually the email address is gonna be the username. Oops, email address, boom, next. Gmail is not. Import pop three. That's what you're looking for. Look for pop three. Import emails from my other account. Check mark. Correct. Next. So the username, uh, I'm going to go back to what they say. Username is my email address right here. So I'm going to put that in. The password is the password I set. 
use the email account's password. It even walks me through it right here. So what was it? Do you even blog is the greatest. <laughs> okay, pop server. Incoming, this is incoming mail. So I'm gonna use this pop server. Mail.theparentline.com. Mail.theparentline.com. It was already in there. Port is gonna be pop three port. That's what I'm looking for. I'm doing a pop three thing right here, 995. I'm gonna change this to 995. And some other little settings right here. Leave a copy of the retrieved message on the server. I don't really care about. Always use an SSL when retrieving mail. I always do this. You'll see that there are two options right here. This is the SSL settings, secure SSL settings, non SSL settings. The fact that every host I've ever been with recommends using the SSL settings, I just do it. I won't question it, I just do it. <laughs> so I'm gonna check that box. Label incoming messages, Pete at theparentline.com. It could be helpful. You could also skip the inbox if you want to. I'm gonna click add account. I'll we'll see if it works. Cool, it worked. Boom, I'm good to go. So one thing, sometimes it won't work. And the main thing you'll want to go in and look at is this, the server. A lot of times you will not have like the correct number of ports. And sometimes this will be something different. It won't be mail.theparentline.com. It might be something different, like another word right here. I don't know what site grounds is, let's see. Uh, this is incoming mail, secure password pop server. Oh, okay, it says use your secure SSL server settings, that, which is listed in cPanel, email accounts, more configure email client. Okay, so you'd have to go retrieve it from your cPanel, looks like for site grounds. But anyways, the point is sometimes you'll get an error right here and you need to go look at your server first, like what you put in there and make sure that is correct, the, the server stuff. Now we're gonna go back through here. Yes, I would like to be able to send mail as Pete at theparentline.com from my Gmail address. I'm gonna do that next and we're gonna use these settings right here, outgoing server. It's the same exact stuff. Uh, so name, yeah, yeah, yeah. Treat as an alias. I don't even know what that is. I don't really care. Duh, 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 duh. My server. I'm gonna assume it's the same. Mail.theparentline.com, yep, it is. And then SMTP port. It's gonna be 465, you can see right here. So I'm gonna do 465. Username is gonna be the email address, right? And the password is gonna be, do you even blog is the greatest. And then I'm gonna do SSL again, right? Uh, I'm gonna do add account. What it's gonna do at this point is send me an email in just a couple of minutes. It'll probably take like two to five minutes. It's gonna send me an email and I need to click a link in that email to verify it says it right here, click on the link in the confirmation email or there'll be a code that I can copy and paste here. So I'm gonna leave this window open and we're just gonna wait for a minute. It might've already happened, let's see. So they're gonna send you this email. I am just going to copy and paste this over, this confirmation code. You could also just click that link. I'm gonna copy that and then go back over here. Do, 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 do. I'm gonna click verify. And now I am done. I can now send and receive email from my Gmail account. And to test it, let me open up my business email using G Suite. <laughs> I use G Suite. There we go. Compose. Pete at the parent line.com. Uh, this is a test. This is a test. Send. Message sent. So it's important to note here, you can actually change this as well. It's not going to be instantaneous. You can actually change these, I believe, to check uh, every like hour or so. I think that's like the default. It like automatically checks it every hour. I think there's another setting somewhere in here to check it more often. I'm actually not positive where that is. It might be like over here. But anyways, I'm gonna click check mail now. Like a check, last check one minute ago. It'll probably check like every hour or so. I'm gonna click check mail now. While we're waiting on that, you'll notice this. Oh look, it says one mail fetched. And, oh, it sent me, cPanel sent me another thing. Oh, wow. See, this is why I still approve of Bluehost. You don't do that, I didn't get this on SiteGround and several of the other ones. They actually sent me those settings right there when I created the email address, apparently eight minutes ago. That's cool. I did not know that. See that? Okay, there's the test. And it's labeled Pete at the parent line and we are now good to go. Now when I click reply, look at the from address. Oh, actually it says from, I can choose. Pete at theparentline.com, or there's my personal. Pretty cool, right? Super cool. One more thing to note, I can actually change that. When you hit reply, it can be set to automatically choose 
always reply from default email address, currently blah, blah, blah. Reply from the same address the message was sent to. So there you go. Um, email me any questions you have. I'll put the full replay in the private Facebook group as well and on YouTube so you can find everything there. And that's all I got. I appreciate you. I appreciate everybody else watching this. Get your email connected.